One question we always ask ourselves from time to time, are we alone in the universe? Many of us would like to believe that there's more out there than just us, and looking up at the stars and planets, it's hard not to think about the possibility of life beyond Earth. It seems like something out of science fiction, but there's some pretty convincing evidence out there, and that's what this video is all about. It's 50 crazy facts about aliens that will convince you they exist. So get ready for an out of this world video that might just turn you from a skeptic to a believer. Number 50. There's a scientific organization dedicated to looking for them. Carl Sagan and Jill Tarter, two well-known astronomers, founded the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute or SETI to explore, understand, and explain the origin and nature of life in the universe and the evolution of intelligence. Number 49. There are thousands of other planets outside our solar system. NASA has confirmed that the number of exoplanets, or planets that revolve around a different star as opposed to our Sun, is over 4,000. That's a lot of planets that could be home to alien life. Number 48. A famous asteroid may be debris from an alien structure. Avi Lloyd, a former Harvard astronomy professor, theorized that the famous asteroid Oumuamua is actually a piece of debris from an alien structure or even an alien spacecraft. Number 47. People have been seeing UFOs in America since the 1600s. The first UFO sighting in American history was recorded by John Winthrop in 1639, who wrote in his diary about a sighting of strange green light that ran as swift as an arrow and transported a boat full of Puritans a mile upstream. Number 46. There was an Air Force UFO investigation operation called Project Blue Book, started after a pilot reported nine strange flying objects in 1947. Project Blue Book compiled reports on more than 12,000 UFO sightings from 1952 to 1969, after which it was dissolved. Number 45. UFOs don't have to look like flying saucers. A UFO account by pilot Kenneth Arnold described a UFO as moving like a saucer if you skip it across the water, leading to the image of a UFO as having a saucer-like shape. Number 44. There are over 17,000 nearby stars likely to have planets that could support complex life. The list was compiled by astronomers Margaret Turnbill and Jill Tarter of the Carnegie Institution in Washington, D.C. Number 43. We may come across an alien radio signal by 2025. Seth Shostak, senior astronomer at SETI, believes the Allen Telescope Array, which is currently being built, will come across an alien signal by that year. Number 42. There could be alien life hiding in our own solar system. The most likely places for it to be found are underground refuges on Mars, hotspots on Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, or beneath the mysterious ice crusts of Jupiter's moons, Europa and Callisto. Number 41. We made TV for aliens. On September 30, 2006, the French Center for National Space Studies sent Cosmic Connection, their alien-targeted TV program, toward a star 45 light-years away. If there are aliens there, the signal should reach them by 2051. Number 40. We used to think there weren't any planets outside our solar system. 30 years ago, we hadn't discovered one planet outside of the solar system we call home. Now we've learned about more than 3,000. Number 39. Scientists estimate that one in every five or six planets resides in the Goldilocks zone, which means it's just the right temperature for water to form on the surface in liquid form. Where there is water, there can be life. Number 38. Earth is getting radio signals we can't explain. FRBs, or fast radio bursts, have been detected since 2007. We don't know much about them except that they are coming from outside the Milky Way galaxy. Some experts think they might be an advanced civilization trying to speak to us or they are just sending us the latest alien pop hits. Number 37. Paul Hellyer, Canada's former defense minister, is a believer. According to Hellyer, at least 80 different species of aliens have visited Earth over the last several thousand years. Number 36. Some people believe that aliens have played a role in humanity's development during these several thousand years. A number of alien addicts buy into the controversial ancient aliens theory, which posits that aliens could have influenced a number of cultures, including the ancient Egyptians. Number 35. Even celebrities have UFO sightings. Oscar-winning director Guillermo del Toro spotted a UFO in Guadalajara, which he described as a flying saucer so cliched with lights. Number 34. Britain's first astronaut says they exist. No one knows space better than an astronaut, and Helen Sharman, the first British citizen in space, told the observer aliens exist, there's no two ways about it. Number 33. 
There is a UFO in a 15th century painting. The Madonna with St. Giovannino might depict the Virgin Mary in the foreground, but behind her, a strange shape can be seen that looks suspiciously like a flying saucer. Number 32. A 9th century Latin manuscript may directly reference aliens. In it, the Archbishop of Lyons described a story about a region from whence come ships in the clouds, occupied by sailors. There were even three men and a woman who claimed to have fallen from these sky ships, but they were stoned to death for their story. Number 31. The US Navy has confirmed the existence of UFOs. When describing three clips of declassified military footage that became public between 2017 and 2018, the Navy referred to them as unidentified aerial phenomena. Number 30. The most famous American UFO sighting of all time occurred in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947 when a strange object was seen falling from the sky. The Army first described the object as a flying disc, but later claimed it was from a weather balloon. Witnesses supposedly saw the military take away a flying disc and alien bodies. Number 29. A UFO interfered at a U.S. nuclear base. In 1967, the missiles at a Montana base became mysteriously unlaunchable, while a large red glowing object floated above the facility. Perhaps those aliens were pacifists. Number 28. Extremophiles prove that life can exist under harsh conditions. Some creatures on Earth, like tardigrades that can withstand temperatures from 0 degrees to over 100 degrees Celsius, can go without food for 10 years, can live through just about anything. And if these creatures can do it, what's to stop similar creatures from thriving on seemingly inhospitable planets? Number 27. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University picked up a radio signal that lasted for 72 seconds, came from almost 220 light years away, and has never been found again. It was so impressive that the observing scientists wrote WOW on the computer printout of the signal. Number 26. On September 12, 1952, seven residents of Braxton County in West Virginia claimed to see a 10-foot-tall alien in the hills above Flatwoods. These sightings followed the appearance of a red light in the sky that appeared to fall and crash on a local farm. The apparent alien became a local legend known as the Flatwoods Monster. Skeptics believe the creature may have been the glowing eyes of a barn owl, but a number of witnesses stick to their story. Number 25. There are subsurface oceans of water beneath several moons in our solar system and throughout the universe, and these might be the perfect place for alien life to thrive. These hidden oceans are excellent for developing life, but also make it difficult for us to detect. Number 24. A number of people who reported alien sightings also reported run-ins with the so-called Men in Black, who, far from their charming Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones movie counterparts, often apparently behave a lot like creepy aliens themselves. Number 23. Betty and Barney Hill were a couple that claimed to be abducted by aliens in 1961. They recovered memories of this encounter through regressive hypnosis. While many were skeptical, Betty was able to draw a map of the alien's supposed constellation from memory. Scientists noted that the drawing resembled the actual constellation of Zeta Reticuli. Number 22. In 1957, a Brazilian farmer claimed to have been abducted by aliens, probed, and bred. Doctors later confirmed that the farmer had suffered radiation poisoning, which could not be explained. Number 21. This year, the Pentagon released three videos of UFOs recorded by the Navy, one from 2004 and two from 2015. The three videos depict objects moving through the sky in strange ways that cannot be explained, as the pilots filming them react with confusion and excitement. Number 20. China has developed a new fixed 100-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, or FAST, that can be used to search for extraterrestrial signals. If all goes according to plan, this could potentially make China the first country to make contact with an alien civilization. Number 19. Tom DeLonge, a former member of American rock band Blink-182, now spends a lot of his time being a professional UFOologist with his organization, the To The Stars Academy. He's also apparently a big believer in Bigfoot. Number 18. Former President Jimmy Carter once saw a UFO. On September 18, 1973, he filed a report with the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena, describing his sighting. The object was very bright with changing colors and about the size of the moon. Number 17. During World War II, Air Force pilots on overnight missions encountered colorful lights that would chase the aircraft. These lights could move up to 200 miles per hour and flew circles around the pilots. The pilots nicknamed these alien lights Foo Fighters. Number 16. In 1997, thousands of people in Arizona claimed to see strange lights fly across the sky in a V-shape. These were nicknamed the Phoenix Lights. Number 15. 
A logger named Travis Walton disappeared for five days in 1975 after a glowing disc zapped him with what was described as a bluish ray. He was found on the roadside with stories of aliens that looked like well-developed fetuses in tan robes. Number 14. In February of 1942, the Army attacked a glowing object near Culver City, assuming it was an air raid. However, even after the object disappeared, no pieces of it were ever found. Many suspected that an alien craft was responsible. Number 13. Some scientists attribute the effects of supposed alien abductions to sleep paralysis, a condition that causes an inability to move when one's mind is trapped in a temporary sort of walking nightmare. However, others argue that sleep paralysis does not explain away all the effects of abductions. Number 12. Famous physicist Stephen Hawking advised against contacting alien life, saying, If aliens ever visit us, I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus landed in America. Number 11. There is supposedly a document known as Project Grudge Report 13 that details the investigation into a supposed alien abduction of an American Air Force sergeant. However, despite testimonies from a former Green Beret captain and various conspiracy theorists, there is no official information on Report 13 available. Number 10. In 2019, in Colorado, five bulls showed up dead, drained of blood, and with body parts cleanly removed. Many attributed this, as with other accounts of unexplained cattle mutilation, to the actions of aliens. Number 9. Fran Drescher, the former star of The Nanny, believes that both she and her ex-husband were abducted by aliens before they met. The two have matching scars, which Drescher attributes to experiments done on them during their abduction. Number 8. The first crop circles appeared in the English countryside in the 1970s. Over the years, many have associated crop circles with alien activity, though others insist that they're man-made hoaxes. Number 7. The term Little Green Men as a depiction for aliens originated from an encounter in Hopkinsville, Kentucky in 1955. The Sutton family witnessed a UFO landing and claimed to be attacked by a group of strange humanoid creatures with metallic skin. They were described as little men and that later turned into little green men. Number 6. SETI uses deep sea exploration to practice for deep space exploration. They use robots to explore deep sea vents in preparation for similar climates that might appear in alien oceans on other planets, allowing us to prepare to get closer to an environment that might house alien life. Number 5. In 1987, a man named Ed Walters claimed to be contacted by aliens who physically lifted him off the ground with a beam of light from one of their ships. He took many photos of the supposed ships, which are still a source of great debate to this day. Number 4. A horror writer named Whitley Strieber claimed to be abducted by aliens from his cabin on December 26, 1985. He wrote a book about his encounter, which was made into a film starring Christopher Walken. Number 3. In December of 1980, several witnesses claimed to see mysterious lights over Rendlesham Forest in Suffolk, England. One of the witnesses was a United States Air Force Deputy Base Commander who wrote about the sighting in an affidavit issued in 2010, where he described these lights as an extraterrestrial in origin. Number 2. Most UFO abductees describe the same kind of alien, humanoid, bald, with large eyes and gray skin. This description is so common that this type of alien has become colloquially known as the Greys. Number 1. There's a support group based in New England for people who have had encounters with aliens. As of 2009, the group has had over 1,500 members, each with their own story of an alien encounter or abduction. The specific details of the group are kept secret for the privacy and safety of its members. So, what do you think? Are there aliens out there? For more like this, check out the terrifying alien encounter that's never been explained and evidence that aliens have made contact. Stick around for the most entertaining content this side of the Milky Way at the Infographics Show.